Hey, Princess Anne Middle School Panthers. Today, well, it's actually what we call the vernal equinox. It's the first day of spring, uh, which eh, really isn't going to happen until about almost 10, 10 to 12 tonight, all right, almost by morning. But it is the 19th. It will be part of that day. So we're calling this the first day of spring. So today, though, our biome, hey, it's the biome that we live in. It's the biome we live in. It's the temperate forest. All right, so I got a little poster here. We can look at this. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about some adaptations, mostly about our trees today. So for the temperate forest, of course, we know that it changes color in the fall. We know that we can have all of our seasons. A little shot of some snow on the grass there. And of course, spring, first day of spring, we're gonna look at some plant adaptations in a moment. So one of the things that we're gonna talk about for the temperate forest is going to be deciduous trees. And those are trees that lose their leaves, all right, during the winter time. So in the fall, they'll begin changing color, preparing for that winter weather. And it's really, a lot of it is based on daylight. There's less daylight. So actually for today, for the first day of spring, equinox means equal day, equal night. The equal night is really what it means. So that means 12 hours of daylight, 12 hours of darkness. So for trees, that light becomes very important. So that's an adaptation for trees to lose their leaves during the winter time. Uh, so let's take a look like it's, here's a, a, a branch of this. I believe this is a high bush blueberry and it's starting to get its new leaves in. All right, you can see all around us though, there's lots of bare. If you look up there, that's a pine tree, of course. So we do have evergreen trees. It's not that the deciduous forest is without any of the evergreens, of course. All right, so deciduous, again, means that it's going to drop its leaves. So you can hear, we, we, we're hearing some birds calling. It's definitely a nice warm day. Look, Mr. Cullen's even wearing shorts. So yeah, I probably won't ever do that in the classroom. So let's, uh, let's take a little bit of a walk. Again, if you look really close, you can start to see that new growth on plants that it doesn't look like anything's really happening, but there it is. All right, so getting those new buds. All right. Most of the deciduous trees are actually blooming plants too. We don't think about it, but uh, you know, all the pollen that's gonna start bothering people, especially you know, if you have some allergies, yep, that's gonna be from a lot of these flowering plants. So. Well, let's take a look. Um, we didn't talk too much about our animals, but of course, deer, foxes, all kinds of small mammals, lots of different insects will be starting to be noticeable. Of course, turtles, hawks, owls, all kinds of songbirds, as you can hear a few singing. So I'm gonna flip a log though. Let's see what we can find, see if we um, can find any wildlife. Ooh, look at that. Right there, that's, that's called a marbled salamander. Interesting thing about salamanders, you know, we talk about biodiversity between probably North Carolina and Virginia, especially in the mountain regions. I think the biodiversity of salamanders is pretty high, even compared to other places around the world. So that's something maybe somebody looks up, see how many salamanders we have species wise between Virginia and North Carolina. I think you're gonna find it's a pretty high amount. So something to kind of think about and look up while you're out there. So um, please make sure you're keeping up with your assignments on our biomes and I will talk to you later. Did you just put a salamander in your pocket? Oh, well, I mean, it's plastic. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs>